Hello students, I am Dr. Vidya Patil and I am going to be your English teacher for the first sem English language course. We keep asking questions on a day-to-day -day basis. We always frame our questions in a different way than what we do when we are speaking and making regular sentences. So, what are these special words which we need to use in order to make a question. This is what we'll be trying to learn and understand in today's video. So the topic for today's video is question forms or question words. Let us try to find out what are these different kinds of uh, words which we can use in order to frame proper questions. In English, there are generally four types of questions which we use. We form general questions which are yes or no questions. Then we have special questions which we form using the WH words or the question words. We have choice questions and finally we have the disjunctive or the tag questions, which are also known as tail questions. Let us try to understand each one of these four types of questions and how they are different from each other. The first type of questions, that is the general questions, are very commonly used. These common questions, which can be answered with a simple yes or no, are logically called as yes-no questions or uh, general questions. Let us now for, take for example, do you like this country? This is a simple question which can either be answered by yes, I like this country or no, I don't like this country. So such questions which can be answered in yes or no are known as general questions or yes-no questions. Let us look at some more examples. Does Jane know about your new job? Can I call my sister? Is it cold outside? Are they ready for the trip? Are you hungry? These are the different types of questions which can be answered in yes or no. The next type of questions are the special questions or WH questions. These are questions which use a certain word at the beginning of the sentence so that you can ask a specific question. These words but which are used at the beginning of the sentence are known as question words. Some of the commonly used question words are who, what, where, when, why, how, how many, etc. For example, where is he from? What, uh, when did you come here? How did you meet her? How many eggs do we need for this cake? Whose children are playing in the yard? Let us look at some of the different kinds of question words which can be used to form questions. When we, the answer needed is a person, then we can use the question word who. Who is that man? That's Peter. When the answer needed is a place, then we can use the question word where. Where do you live? In London. When the answer required is needs to show a sense of time, then we use the question word when. When did he arrive? In the afternoon. When the answer uh, is a reason, then the question word used will be why. Why did you leave? Because I was tired. When the answer requires to show us the manner in which an action was performed, then we use the question word how. How did you go? By car. 
when you need to show an object or an idea or an action, then the question word which you will use should be what. What are you doing? Nothing. When you need to show a sense of choice, then the question word which you will use is which. Which car is better? The red one. When the answer needs to show a sense of possession, then the question word used will be whose. Whose book is this? It's mine. When we need to show uh, what uh, the sense of time, then we use what time. So, what time did he call? At 7. When we need to give a description, then the question word which will be asked should be what kind. What kind of car is it? A hybrid. When we are, uh, the answer required is a countable noun. So when you are showing quantity and it is countable in nature, then the question word used will be how many. How many beds are there? Three. When the answer uh, required is a quantity but is an uncountable, then we use the question word how much. How much tea is there? A lot. When the answer required needs to show duration or the length, then we use the question word how long. How long did you stay? Two weeks. When the answer needs to show the frequency, then we use the question word how often. How often do you go? Every day. When we need to show the distance, we use the question word how far. How far is the town? One mile away. When we need to show the sense of age, then the question word used will be how old. So how old is your sister? She is 27. In this way, we have a variety of question words which can be used to form various different types of questions. The next type of questions are choice questions. These are questions which offer a choice of several where a several options are given. They consist of two or more parts which are connected by the conjunction or. For example, does she like ice cream or sweets? She likes ice cream. So, in this example, we can see that the question gives us two options, ice cream or sweets. And the person who gives the answer has to select any one. Similar such sentences can be, where would you go to the cinema or the theater? I would go to the cinema. Is he a teacher or a student? He is a student. Another type of question is the tag questions. This type of question is also made up of two parts. Here, the first part is a positive statement. And the second part is negative or it can be vice versa with the first part being a negative statement and the second part being positive. The first part of the sentence defines what is the expected answer. So if the statement is positive, then the answer will also be positive. If the statement is negative, then the answer which is expected will also be negative. Let us look at a few of the examples. She sent him an invitation, didn't she? The first part of this sentence is she sent him an invitation. This is positive. The second part of the sentence which is the question also known as the question tag is didn't she and this is negative. Now the first part of the sentence uh, will help us determine what is going to be the answer to this question. Since the first part is positive, the expected answer is also positive. So generally, when such a question is asked, the expected answer will be yes, 
she did. Let us look, take up another example. You aren't getting married, are you? Now, in this sentence, the first part, you aren't getting married is a negative sentence. The second part, are you, which is the question tag, is positive. Since the first part is a negative sentence, so the answer expected will also be negative and the answer to such a question will be no, I am not. So students, in today's video, we have learned what are the different types of questions and how to form these different types of questions. So we have also seen that one of the types of questions are question tags. This will be the topic for the next video. We will try to understand what are question tags in detail. I hope you liked this video. Thank you. Thank you.